First of all, welcome to the channel and thank you for stopping by. When time permits, please consider subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it. I have met up with Greg, Timmy, and Travis, and Greg is going to get us to the Palmetto ADV Rally, and I believe he said we might hit some scar on the way. And if we do, I will pick you up then. It is a great morning, ever so slightly brisk, which feels good. No rain whatsoever. Knock on wood substitute, the bike is started right up. Everything's packed, ready to go. Only real thing I'm concerned about is I'm riding with big bikes and I probably should have put some fuel in my giant loop fuel, sorry, not fuel bag. But unfortunately, I have so much weight high up that I don't know that that's a great idea to be sticking fuel, what would be up here, even more weight. As is, I have very little uh, nimbleness left in the bike. Whenever I lean it anywhere, all that weight just wants to pull the bike with it. Real pain. Nice ride through the uh, backwoods of South Carolina, approaching, I think, what they call the low country. Beautiful morning still. No raise in the temperature, but it's still pretty good. I am hoping that we get to some sand. I mean, I'm gonna regret it as soon as I feel that weight in the back start to go somewhere. Because if I'm in the sand and the back end starts sliding, I've now got all that weight, and it is this high. That's how high things are in the back. Just about to my eye level, it's bonkers. I never wanted to put racks on this bike though. I wanted to keep it lightweight because I only keep it close to home and uh, that's definitely coming to bite me today. But hey, when you own KTMs, you need an alternate bike and this Honda is my alternate bike. I don't think I'll put racks on it, but I might get some of those uh, small rack frames that help you put rackless luggage on and then grab myself a set of the Nelson Rig uh, 14 liter bags that at least would keep me down to the point where i don't need to have a giant top bag back there which is huge and way too high way way too high goodbye pavement on a road called alligator <laughs> awesome name for a sand road and when we came onto this road we left the pavement at an angle hit the sand and the back end slid probably an inch or two but oh boy did i feel that weight just go with it <laughs> ah it's nice to be off pavement though this is the first time i've been off pavement in 297 miles oh. this is much better for my knobbies to dig into versus just thunk 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 thunk, thunk on the pavement I got comments from Tim and a few other people going, hey, I don't know what the problem is with knobbies on the road. And I know it's not a problem with the knobbies on the road. It's a problem for me with the knobbies on the road. I don't enjoy it. That doesn't mean the knobbies won't do it all day or a thousand miles. It just means I'm spoiled. And when I'm, unfortunately, on knobbies on the pavement, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Nothing wrong with the tire. They're the Tusk D Sport. I mean, they did almost 300 miles on the pavement, and while I complain about it, there's nothing really wrong with them. They were fine. But I'd much prefer something like this. Give me a dirt road, even a sand road. I'm not a fan of sand. I'm more of a fan of dirt and mud, but anything but pavement on knobbies. That will cheer me up. This is going to be good for Greg. He was mentioning that... Uh, he did 40 miles of asphalt at the end of the day and he hated it. He said it did 200 miles and the only problem that gave him any pain or consternation was the frickin' pavement. So hopefully this helps. For me, it's fantastic. Look at this beautiful sunny day. I literally haven't been on sand since Moab. Again, it's not my favorite, but hey, it beats uh, asphalt. And especially after uh, so much asphalt. It's the first time I haven't been able to feel, at least I think I can feel, 
every damn knob touching the pavement. This just feels so soft. I don't know that I'd want to do this in heavy rain, though. That's the one thing I haven't had to do, and I hope I don't. I've ridden in most terrains in the rain, as rain seems to follow me, or I seem to chase it. But the handful of times I've been on sand, Florida, Moab, the scar last year, it's always been dry. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it'll pack it down and make it even easier to ride on, but I seem to think that it's going to make it like the uh, beach where it's going to stick a little, and I'm thinking if I try to lean or steer, maybe it's going to be sticky. I am sure eventually I'll find out. Greg said that it had been raining and things would be fairly packed. Looks pretty dusty. I'm staying behind Timmy so that I'm not eating too much of that dust. So maybe this got packed down and then it was enough dry days to put it back to this. Oh, a couple of rocks mixed in there. A little bit of water, not too dry here. One problem I know I'm going to have is if I hit any kind of rut or real bump, I'm pretty much touching the bag behind me. I got no room to move whatsoever. Not looking forward to needing to have mobility because I don't. Well, that was a nice little stretch. I hope we get some more of those. Oh, coming up to more now. Oh, turn off the camera and pay attention. Well, we just had a nice stop here. Look at this. I hope the red comes out. It is a beautiful field. Just a quick break. You know, Instagram pictures, that sort of thing. Back into the sand. Greg had a fantastic idea. Get ourselves to the rally. Everybody drop off their heavy gear and go back out and ride. He's got a track that's supposed to be the must-see of the low country. So once we get rid of all this gear, today is, according to the forecast, absolutely the best day of the rally. So day one it is. Let's go see something nice. Jay, if you are watching this video, buddy, Jay Pence, Definitely gonna miss you. I wish you were coming down. I wish you had your Honda. That way, if I had any mechanical problems, I know you'd have tools because you are smarter than I am. <laughs> but no, buddy, I wish you were here this year. 